And finally, scouts and their leaders from across London and the home counties are heading off this weekend to the quadrennial World Scout Jamboree in South Korea. The jamboree is described as the biggest party of its kind, with tens of thousands of scouts from around the world meeting up to learn new life skills and celebrate their work. The event has been happening since 1920. Well, Lauren Hall went along to meet some of those attending. This is the start of an adventure. A hundreds of scouts from London and the home counties. Ah, where are we going? South Korea! This week, scouts from all over the UK have been passing through Heathrow Airport on their way to the World Scout Jamboree. Quite nervous because I've never been on a plane before. You've never been on a plane before? Wow. wow. It doesn't feel real at all. Like I'm just kind of like, oh my gosh. A little bit nervous, got a long flight ahead. But yeah, going fun. What are you most looking forward to when you get there? culture yeah i want to meet new people as well we're excited it's gonna be fun so you know i've been waiting like two years for this it's like the day before christmas nerves like the it is i couldn't sleep last night i was so Not excited no doubt there's also been some sleepless nights for the leaders and all the other volunteers who'll be looking after them for the next three weeks it's that buzz of anticipation and excitement my buzz will come when I've got the other side of check-in and I know they're OK and we're, we're through security and then I can relax and we'll go to Jamboree and it'll be awesome, absolutely awesome. They've made sure of that, having prepared for this for several years. There are four and a half thousand scouts making the journey from the UK to South Korea. In fact, there are so many there aren't enough direct flights. So they'll all be heading out to various different places before they come together next week in Korea for the start of the World Scout Jamboree. The event's held every four years, hosted by different countries. And these are the sorts of things they get up to. So there are nearly 50,000 young people and the adults that are needed to support them coming together from you know, right the way across the world. In fact, more countries than are represented even at an Olympics. It's fantastic. They've never experienced anything like it. No wonder there's so much excitement. Lauren Hall, ITV News. Oh, they're going to have a good time. Uh, that is it.